Hopefully you guys are pre prepared for the wet Halloween trick-or-treating and things like that because we've been talking about this very strong and powerful system for a few days now. So let's get right to it. The biggest concern out of this is going to be the wind, which will actually peak early tomorrow morning. So I've looked at our map so far. Wind doesn't seem too bad right now. Sustained near 10 to 15 miles per hour top. So currently not an issue, but this by tomorrow morning and into the afternoon is going to be a problem. An advisory for most of our area, wind advisory, including the Champlain Valley, from tomorrow morning through the evening means wind gusts could be up to 55 miles per hour. But northern New York starting late tonight and through your Friday has a high wind warning, which means you guys could see wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour. Add that to all the rain we're expecting. The ground is going to be loosened up a little bit. We're going to see branches, even trees down, some power lines. So likely going to see that issue here arise, especially into tomorrow morning. So, so far the rain has not been quite an issue. It's a little soggy, a little damp here for this Thursday and Halloween. A couple of these spotty showers showing up, but nothing major just yet. I'll zoom into a little pocket here that's kind of fizzled out over the last few minutes, but up towards uh, the northwestern portions of Vermont, Highgate, St. Albans, and even to places along the border, Canadian border, northern New York, even some sprinkles in Burlington. But again, not a big issue. This, however, is what's headed in our direction over the Great Lakes Midwest. This big swath of rain it's going to be overhead of us in just a couple of hours. So unfortunately, as kids are getting off school and things like that, getting ready to trick or treat, that's when that heavier rain starts to take over. At least it's warm. I've been saying this is the best part of the day, I think, is that mild temperatures have taken back over again. 61 Plattsburgh, 64 in Burlington, 65 in Lebanon. And for the rest of your Halloween, it's going to stay mild. That southerly wind that picks up is actually going to keep pulling in that warmer air ahead of that system. So through trick-or-treat time, through sunset, all the way really through dinner and even beyond, it's going to be nice and warm in those mid-60s. But as that system gets closer, rain and wind will pick up. So here it is, right around 4 or 5 o'clock, some pockets of that heavy rain getting closer through dinner time. There's the, there are those oranges and reds. That's that heavy rain. Overnight is when a sharp cold front moves through. This is around midnight and through early tomorrow morning. You'll notice some pockets of those downpours. That's going to be right along that cold front, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. The good news is that it moves out pretty quickly. Some scattered showers, even a little bit of mountain snow on the tail end of this, and we get some sun by tomorrow afternoon. But we have a long way to go before we get there. And with all this rain on the way, we're looking at the potential for some minor flooding, which is why a flood watch starts tonight, goes through tomorrow, is in effect for most of our area, pooling up of water on our roads and things like that, not out of the question. Expecting a widespread one to two inches, maybe upwards of near three inches in some localized places. You're noticing this little swath here over northern New York that could shift a little bit north or south, but regardless, Everyone's going to get the rain and everyone's going to get the wind. Let's have a look at these gusts over the next day or so here, looking at they, that they could be above not only 40 miles per hour consistently, but up to, like I mentioned with that advisory and that warning, 55 to 65 miles per hour, which is why we've put our impact icon for today to keep you guys updated on a messy Halloween. But even once that winds down, your, the day after Halloween is actually going to be the focus. That's that red alert icon, which means we could see those branches and trees and even damage to property. So please be aware. We'll keep you guys updated as necessary throughout tomorrow.